Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door. And we are back doing a craft with me in our farm ringer farm ring binder journal. <laughs> okay, so the last time we put this little piece on, so now I think I know I want to put my envelope here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this together because When I did these envelope, when I made these envelopes, I separated this so that I could scan it and have it for future reference or for future use. So we just need to glue the flap shut. So just put a little glue in there. Glue that closed. I love how these envelopes turned out. And I had so much fun making these envelopes. Okay. Now let's make sure we didn't get any glue on the inside to where it'll actually glue our opening shut. <laughs> okay, so what do we want to put in here? Let's put a pretty little recipe card in here. Have one of these. This is from my Seven Gypsies days. And we'll put that in there. And then we'll just close that little flat over and then paper clip that on. Let's do a paper clip at the top. Let's do a big one. And let's put some fabric or something in this. Maybe a piece of ribbon. Oh, I have this. Yeah, let's put that in there. Let's attempt to put that in there. I got this from Selena a long time ago and I've used it piece by piece until this is the last little piece of it. I got to talk to her on the phone yesterday and I'm so excited. She said my package is coming. So um, I know that I have packages from my ladies who sent journals um, and I have a happy mail package from Miss Susie. I haven't got to open it yet um, because I always like to open them on video um, and Susie sent me a she sent me an email today asking me if I got it. I need to respond to that email. I just haven't had a chance to yet this morning. Um, but I will open that as soon as possible, Susie. I just like to do it on video and um, so I haven't been able to as of yet. Okay, so that's pretty. I love the flap. And I think I want to put something maybe under the flap. Do we want to put something under the flap? Let's put a pretty little... Maybe that can go under the flap. Yep. Okay. The Bells of St. Mary's. The famous bell song with the ha haunting melody refrain. I love the cow on there. Okay. Let's see. The world is waiting for the sunrise. This is really pretty. It's very old. Alright. So I think I just like the way that looks. And I like the way this looks. But maybe we want a sticker on here. Let's find the sticker. What kind of sticker do we want? Do we want one of these? Hmm. I think these are too bright for that page. Let's find something else. Ooh, I have these. Let's see what else we have. I love these. I'm hoarding these for a while. I need to use them, but they're so pretty. I'm just hoarding them. I need to stop. Let's see what else we have. Let's pull this out and see what we have on here. This one because I like the way this kind of looks burlappy. Yep, I like that. Okay, alrighty, and then for back here, let's put another sticker. Let's 
Let's put this one. Can we get him off? He don't want to come off. I hate it when they do that. It's like the, um, the sticker part's not coming off. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it's stuck in there. Here we go. Why is it doing that? Okay. Well, this one's going to be quite the little battle. Good grief. He's a stubborn little sticker. Look what he did. We're going to have to put some glue on him. what I get for hoarding. <laughs> you hoard it too long and then it don't want to work right. So don't hoard too long because I do that and I'm bad about it. Okay. I'm going to put a little glue in the corners. Good grief. What a mess. <laughs> okay. Put a little glue right there. Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit of a battle, but he looks cute, so it's worth it. Okay, I love, love, love this um, wallpaper, and I usually like to leave this blank, but maybe we can clip something on it. Um... I'm just looking through here to see what I have. Okay. Maybe this one. I like this one. Let's put a little ink around the edges. This one just the way it is. I love this is a vintage um, ledger page and I love that lace that's on there. And so this is folded up so we could tuck something down in there to let whoever gets it know that hey you can use this for um, uh, a pocket if you want to or you can leave it to where you can actually journal on it. So we'll put that in there just to kind of show whoever gets it that it could be um, a pocket. I love these. These are so pretty. I've hoarded these forever. A sweet friend of mine sent them to me and I hoarded them for as long as I could. <laughs> and oh, let's put this down here. Even though it's a vintage ledger page, I think this will um, be a good accent for the page. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more ink on my ink dauber. I just want to ink the edge of this. Okay. Yep. Let's put him there. I absolutely love this paper pack. This is called um, Country Kitchen. It's by um, Cartabella. And I made some beautiful, beautiful journals a couple years ago with this paper pack. And these are a few of the pieces that I hoarded. <laughs> And so now I'm like, okay, it's time to use some stuff. So I'm trying to use some stuff up. I'm trying to not hoard so bad, but it's so hard to. Um, especially when it's something that you really love. It's like, oh, I want to keep that. But it's like, okay, what's the point of keeping that? You're making pretty journals. Put it in a pretty journal. So 
The struggle is real, right? <laughs> okay. And then this piece got a little torn. And so I want to put something over that. So I have these little um, uh, fabric pieces that I did. They're just little strips. I did a video on these. And they're just the little strips of extra paper from your digitals that you cut off. Like, um, hang on, then let me move some of this stuff and I'll be able to show you. So like on this digital um, piece that um, I cut a card out of in one of the videos, you know, these little strips on the side here, uh, card stock's expensive, so if you don't have to waste it, don't waste it. So I used it to, um, I just took some of my, I had a little bowl of scrap fabrics, and um, I think we need a little bit longer of a piece on there because... That one's just not quite long enough. But anyways, I just put the extra little pieces of scrap fabrics on there and just made them, made something cute out of it. And that way, nothing goes to waste. Okay, I like that. There we go. And it just decorates that up a little bit and it hides the little spot where um, that page got torn. And then there's a little spot right here, so let's just put a little piece of washi right there to cover up that piece. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? Sorry, I need to quit saying that. <laughs> My granddaughter would be like, y'all, y'all, don't say that. That's not nice. Okay. I may be being too picky here. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. I love this. This was a um, a roll of paper. It's like a, I think it's like a placemat or something to go on a table, um, but it's really, really thin. But I, I got a whole roll of it from one of my sweet friends sent it to me, and I loved it so much. And I thought it was perfect to use in the ring binder journals. So let's see. What do we want to do on the back of this page? I just want something simple on this page. Ooh, I had a, um, we could do this pretty little paper clip here. I just did like a little farm style paper clip. This was made out of, um, um, a paper pad cover. So let's slide this in here. Like that. And let's put us a journal card on there. Let's see. Let's use one of these. Let's use the one with the cow. This journal card is from uh, Autumn Farms. Did you get? 
So we can just poke him right there. And then on this side, let's put a scripture card. Because um, I always like to put scripture cards in all of my journals. And so I have, I printed out some of the scripture cards. Let's see which one will look cute. Let's do the chicken one. And I'm in the process of making a, um, a digi kit that just has just the scripture cards, like the um, all the farm style scripture cards, so that if you just want the scripture cards, you can get those. So hopefully I can release those in the next little bit. I just gotta get it finished. I think I've got one more card to finish on it. But it'll be super cute, so if you wanna, you know, get just the scripture cards from all of the farm style journal kits. I've kind of added them all into that one um, one little digital kit. Okay. I feel like it's taken me forever to cut these out, y'all. I feel like I'm in slow motion. <laughs> Am I in slow motion? I don't know. It's possible. Alright. Let's just ink him up a little on the edges. Very cute. He goes cute with the chicken on the on that little page. Okay. Oh, these are so cute. So stinking cute with the farmer pig. Um, I don't think we need to do anything to that page. So we are at our denim pocket, which I'm in love with. I love, love, love the denim pocket. So um, this was my last one. So I'm going to have to find some old blue jeans so that I can cut pockets off of them again. <laughs> So we just need to stuff this pocket. So let's put our unexpected friendships are the best ones card right down in there. And then I want a little card in here and I have a cute, cute little, um, isn't that cute? She is cute and how adorable will she be? Oh, you have to fit. Okay, we're gonna trim her down just a hair because she just belongs in this pocket. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Y'all, I would do this with just scissors, but y'all know I can't cut a straight line to save my life, so um, it would be pointless for me to even try. So, I'm just trying not to cut the cow's ear off. I think I got a little bit of his ear, but maybe we can cut a little on this side, too. Sorry, I know y'all probably can't see what I'm doing uh, right now, but the book's in the way, and I couldn't move that up any further. Okay, so let's, well, before we ink her edges, let's make sure she fits. Yep, she fits. Okay, let's ink the edges of this one. Isn't she pretty? Okay. I love how this pocket turned out. Let me make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Make sure I'm in frame. <laughs> I lowered the camera so that y'all could see a little better what I was doing. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. Maybe she needs something here. Let's um. Let's do that, and then we need something pretty to go through here. I think maybe a pretty lace. Although. Although, there is a lot of lace there, but where is my box of ribbon? I have a pretty red chick ribbon that I think would look cute in there. Let's see if I can find it. It's like a gingham. There it is. That will be cute, won't it? Yeah, I like that. Okay. I kind of want a long piece for this. Oh, well, that's all of that. Let's see if we can get that tape off. We'll have to use that little bitty piece somewhere in the journal just to get it used up and not go to waste.
I spend a lot of time on these journals, y'all. But I put so much love and I think about it. Like, I really, really think about it. And I think, well, what would look good there? And, well, y'all are seeing, so. Anyway, I'm not trying to brag on myself. I'm just saying. These journals take a lot of time. I think that's the point I was trying to make. <laughs> okay. So stinking cute. I really don't want to hide the cow, but I guess we're going to have to because she just needs to be peeking out. Okay, there we go. Super cute. All right, and I think, I think I want one other thing up here. What do we want up there? Do we want something else up there? What else do we have? Because I love stuff. Stuffing these journals to the max. Okay. Let's just do a coffee dyed index card. But I want it to have a tab on it. So let's put a tab on it. Let me find. What do you want to put a tab on it with? I know what I want. I'm just going to find it. have this ribbon. Um, this is that old vintage 1980s um, ribbon and I think it would look cute as a tab. Just like that. Yes, I like it. Okay, and I have a stapler. I'm just going to staple this on. I think I'm going to put two staples just to make sure we don't move anywhere. Okay. Super cute. Okay, I like that page. Good to go. Okay. Now, this one's kind of plain. It's kind of a plain page, so we need to decide what we want on here. Let's see what's on the other side of it. Okay, this is... Very vintage, very buttery uh, feeling page. I love the way this page feels. Okay, let's see. What do I want on here? I want to do another fabric flip in this journal, but I don't want to really do it on this page, I don't think. Let's see. Although that is super cute there with the yellow corn. Yeah, I think I like that there. Okay, so we're going to go for it. And with this one, I will use Fabri-Tac and not the glue gun because this page is thinner. And so sometimes I worry about the glue, the hot glue, um, you know, tearing the page or something. So I try to use my Fabri-Tac on that. Yep, I think that's pretty. Got a little piece of fuzz. There we go. I like it. Okay. Moving on. Let's see where we are with our time. Okay, maybe do one more page. Okay, let's see. What's on the back of this one? Alright, I don't really want to put anything on this. Um, but we'll put, I know I want to put a sticker here. Let's see. Oh. Perfect. I love this. I was hoping I had one of these left. I love, love, love these little barn stickers. And they're really good to use to fill up a spot. 
And so like this little blank spot down here, super cute, just to add the little barn right there. I love it. Okay. And then this page. Hang on, let me put, I need to put up my stickers and get some things out of the way. Um, I actually don't want to put a whole lot of anything on here. Okay, let's put something little down here at the bottom, just to give it a little decoration. Um, I don't know, I'm always like, I always feel like it needs something there because this is super cute. This is what we're using. Y'all are going to love this. I need to trim the edge off of it. Um, but I always just feel like it needs something there to say, hey, I'm a farm journal. <laughs> Like, you don't know it's a farm journal. I don't know why I do that, but I do. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to eat the edges of this one. Okay. And then, we can go down here. But look, it says, Farm Girl... I can't read the 100% organic and then homegrown. <laughs> and I mean, how cool is she? She's so cute. All right. I know I'm being a dork. And you know what? I think I'm going to make this to be like a little tuck. So if somebody wanted to tuck something in it, that they could. Sometimes I just stick it completely down to the page, but sometimes I leave a little surprise. And then this is a Henry Terry book page. And, I mean, it doesn't need anything. It is just beautiful. All right. So, do we want to put something in here? Where are my tags? Oh, you know what? I have some of these. Let's do, let's do an old picture. That picture doesn't really go because it's more of a... Um, Two men, and that doesn't really go with that. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Okay, nothing in here is striking me. Oh, wait. Let's put that in there. I just wanted some little something to be in the pocket so that whoever gets the journal knows that it's like a little tuck. And then I have these Tim Holtz tags. Let's use one of these. Because they're small enough. Oh, I love this. J Vinegar and Sons. That's perfect. Hardware, paints, and varnishes. I don't know. Do we want hardware, paints, and varnishes on the... Let's see what else we have. I like these little tags. Um, this one would be cute. Okay, let's do this one. Where did my little string go? Oh, there it is. But I actually think I don't want to use this string. I have some red twine I want to use. and I might not. There's some. Perfect. We're more than halfway through the journal, y'all, so we're almost there. I need to trim that off. And I think I just want to tie it in a bow at the top right here. in there. Super cute. Okay. I like it. Alright. Where are we on our time? 
Okay, we're at 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Please like and subscribe for me if you will, and I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.